the Sarge is ready for some wrestling action with today's game, Pro Wrestling, for your Sega Master System. Now, look, I know this box art is bad. I mean, you got a guy headlocking his own head. However, I think it's so cheesy, it's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and take Pro Wrestling. Let's pop it in my power base converter and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. <laughs> Pro Wrestling was published by Sega and carries the copyright year of 1986. It is based on their arcade game, Body Slam, which contained an all-female cast, including members from All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling. However, this port contains an all-male cast of generic wrestlers. The manual opens with the following, Step into the ring. Now you could be a part of the crazy, hard-hitting world of pro wrestling. You'll deliver headbutts, elbow jabs, and body slams, and get into out-of-the-ring free-for-alls. Maybe you'll even be saved by the bell. Sadly, despite that last sentence, Screech and Mr. Belding are not a tag team in this game. Pro Wrestling is a tag team wrestling game for one or two players with one standard mode of difficulty. In the two-player game, each player will control their own tag team. There are a total of four tag teams. The Mad Soldiers, a clear ripoff of the Road Warriors, the Luchador-inspired Great Mask Men, the Crush Brothers, which might have been inspired by Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair, and the Orient Express, which is the prophetic team of the bunch, since many years later the WWF would introduce us to a similar looking team with the same exact name. Two of the teams are heels or bad guys, the Mad Soldiers and the Great Mask Men. They can use chairs in the game. Two teams are faces or good guys, the Orient Express and the Crush Brothers. They can jump off the post on the top right corner. The two heel teams are not allowed to face each other and neither can the two face teams fight each other. For the controls, the D-pad moves your man around, the one button punches and the two button kicks. Kicks seem to be more powerful as a kick and punch or two kicks will knock down an opponent, but it takes three punches alone to knock down an opponent. When an opponent is down, you can press 1 to throw your opponent off the ropes. When they are running towards you, you can press 1 or 2 to do a specialized attack. One cool aspect of the game is that each wrestler has their own set of special attacks. You can also stand over a downed opponent and hold button 1 for 2 seconds to do a third special attack. You can attempt to pin a downed opponent by pressing 2. If you are downed or being pinned, you can button mash to get back up. Some moves will automatically end with a pin attempt, like Younger Crusher's German Suplex. When Giant Bull from the Orient Express performs the Boston Crab, it can end in a submission victory if it completely drains his opponent's energy. Pressing both 1 and 2 at the same time will have your wrestler attempt a running attack. The face teams can go to the upper right post and press up and button 2 to climb up and then one of the two buttons to perform one of two special attacks on the downed opponent. However, you have a very limited range. To tag your partner, you either need to be by them and press up and 2 if you're at the top corner or down and 2 if you're at the bottom corner. When tagged out, that wrestler will slowly heal. Your wrestler could jump out of the ring by going down to the bottom and pressing down and 1. To return to the ring, you must press up and 1. While out of the ring, the ref will start counting. If he gets to 20 with a wrestler out of the ring, that team loses. A double countout can also happen if both wrestlers are still out of the ring at 20. At the 2 minute and 1 minute mark, a chair will appear outside the ring. The good guys can touch it to make it disappear, but the bad guys can pick it up and press 1 to swing it. They can even bring it back into the ring. However, it disappears after they swing it 3 times or if they get knocked down. In the one player game, your goal is to win the Mexican League, Pacific League, and World League Championships. To win each league, you must win 10 matches against the same opponent before moving on to the next league. That means to beat the game, you must win a total of 30 matches, 20 of which will be against the same team due to the game's limitations. If you lose a match, or get a double count out, or if the 3 minute timer runs out without a winner, you can continue, but you lose any points you've accumulated. Continues appear to be unlimited. Also, as you progress farther, your opponents might get tougher. For instance, you might be able to pin opponents quickly early on, but later on they'll recover quicker and need to be softened up before using special moves on them. Scoring-wise, you get various points for the various moves and extra points for any remaining time on the timer after a victory. Graphically speaking, the game has a nice look. I especially like the airplane cutscenes. However, it can be boring to look at the same arena after 30 matches. Sound and music-wise, the game also does a solid job, including the ref's three count and the bell sound, but once again, you might get tired of hearing the same thing over and over after 30 matches. 
Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating or an E10 and up rating for animated violence without blood if released today. Currently at PriceCharting.com, the game has a value of $7 loose, $10 complete, and $36 new. So what do I think of pro wrestling for the Sega Master System? On one hand, I like the colorful wrestlers and how they all have unique moves. The basic fighting takes a little bit to get used to. Just button mashing punches and kicks won't work that well, as they need to be timed just right. But on the other hand, sometimes they don't take effect until a split second after they're thrown. However, I was able to quickly get used to it, and honestly, the computer never posed a real challenge once I did. My big complaint with the game is the sheer length of the single player game. Playing 30 matches is simply too much, especially when facing only two different teams. It just gets monotonous after a while. This is a game where I don't mind playing a small handful of matches, but 30 is exhausting. So where am I going to rank pro wrestling? Sadly near the bottom. I like the variety of levels of Dead Angle more at 8, but I will give this an edge over Rocky at 9 since Pro Wrestling controls better and has a better variety of moves. So the 11 games are now ranked for the Sega Master System, Pro Wrestling is doing a brain buster at the 9 position. Pro Wrestling has a good look and some cool wrestlers, but the fun isn't enough to survive 30 matches. But that's just my opinion, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter, and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. At this time, I'd like to thank Intellivisionary Rick for his generous support on Patreon. If you enjoy these videos and appreciate all the work that goes into them, please consider becoming a supporter at patreon.com slash noswearegamer. Not only will it give you some warm and fuzzy feelings for supporting the show, but you'll also gain access to some exclusive content. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time in the next episode of the Noswear Gamer. Take care, especially when your opponent is holding a chair.